Hello, I'm Armin Budish. Welcome to Golden Opportunities. Today, macho men still need to have heart-to-hearts about health and heart disease. Then, we'll help your smile score big points by the big game. Plus, winter's gray days got you down? We'll arrange for a touch of spring to appear with a fun floral centerpiece. And give a listen to the new gifting laws. It's time to get geoing, so pull up a chair in our beautifully remodeled new kitchen for Golden Opportunities. Although the brown season is long over, we're not going to talk about that. But there's still a good reason to grab a few buddies, though, and head down to Brown Stadium. Why? Because you won't want to pass up the chance to meet former Brown star Hanford Dixon and gain a winning lineup of information and health assessments. It's at Metro Health's Men's Health Event. Cardiologist Dr. William Lewis is here to help us kick off this great way to help men live healthy lives. Dr. Lewis is the Chief of Clinical Cardiology at the Metro Health Heart and Vascular Center. Thanks for joining us, Doctor. It was my pleasure. So uh, this event, which we're going to talk about, uh, has lots and lots of activities. But before we get there, I, I, I want to tackle, I'm going to use some Brown's <laughs> analogies, some, to tackle uh, some, uh, a specific area of men's health that you're an expert in. Uh, why are so many men caught off guard when it comes to heart health? Well, the problem with, with men's heart health problems is that they typically come on in major events. So one of the things that's really hard is, is to allow yourself to take medication or to be treated for conditions before they actually occur, which is one of the, the interesting things about that. We talk about hypertension being the silent killer because you feel great when you have high blood pressure you know, before it starts to cause its major effects. So I, as a doctor, have to give a patient a medication which makes them feel worse so that they can actually live longer, and that's hard for people to take. So it's not like you get this uh, uh, lead up of little bit of pain, little more, little more, it comes, boom. Exactly. Heart attacks, strokes, things like that often are very sudden events. Are there behaviors or risk factors tied to developing heart disease? There are. There are a number of them. Some of them you can't change, like your family history, but some of them you can impact directly and you can see those on the screen. So smoking is probably the number one thing that you can do tomorrow that would actually lower your risk. You know, we know that still about 20% of people still smoke. And we know, though, that it's never too late to quit. If you quit tomorrow, a year from now, your risk of heart disease will, will drop by about half. And at 15 years, it's about the same as it would be for a non-smoker. And cholesterol? Cholesterol, same thing. When you look at people like high blood pressure and high cholesterol, both of them are things that are out there silently. Men just don't know that they have them. And about 6% of men don't know they have high blood pressure and 6% men of men don't know that they have high cholesterol. And the treatments are very effective. Exercise, I'm sure, is a great way to bring heart problems under control. Absolutely. You know, we recommend, like the American Heart Association does, that you do about 30 minutes of, uh, of exercise a day for about for five days a week, and that that will significantly lower your risk of heart disease. I want to I want to make sure we talk about the men's health event that Metro Health is sponsoring. Tell us about this. It's really exciting. So it should be really a lot of fun. There, you know, Hanford Dixon will be there. We're going to have a uh, a number of discussions about the things that really affect men, and and it'll be fun. And we're giving away an autographed football, as I understand. Uh, you're going to have some of your colleagues there. Tell us uh, different areas that they're going to be addressing. So we're going to talk about specifically prostate health and uh, and men's neurologic health. So those are the things that we're really going to talk about. Uh, what's the date? What's the time? What's the location? So the date and the time hopefully are going to become up on the screen here in a moment because it is going to be February 4th. And as you see, it'll be from 9 o'clock in the morning till noon, so you'll still have time to get home and watch the big game on television. It is, we, we put up February 2nd there. Is that accurate? That, I believe, that? is accurate. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I, February I 2nd. Okay. I want to make sure we get it right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, February 2nd. 9 o'clock, Cleveland Stadium. And uh, do people need to call in advance? They do. And the, the number is on the screen as well. And you can go to metrohealth.org uh, slash men. And um, I should mention that it's nice that I managed to see that because I'm glad I showed I would have showed up on time. So. <laughs> 
That's why we had you on the show today. Exactly. Well, thank you very much. This is great information. People need to understand about heart disease and and all the other uh, issues that are going to be discussed at this event. Thank you. Thank you. You'll want to touch down at the Brown Stadium for this one-of-a-kind event. For more information, I'm going to repeat the number, 216-778-3556, or you can register online at www.metrohealth.org slash men. My thanks to Dr. Lewis, and we'll see you out there. Find out more about Metro Health's Men's Health Event by calling 216-778-3556 or register online at www.metrohealth.org slash men. Next, a winning smile.